Well, hi everyone. Uh, here we are in the boat shed, as usual. And I thought this week we'd just have a little look around the boat because you know, for, for weeks I've been showing you one particular piece that I've been working on and we haven't had a proper tour of the boat for quite a while. So we'll do that this week and that's all we'll do this week. It's work ongoing, of course, but we'll just try and have a look around and, and see where we stand. So we're at the, on the port side at the bow end. If you scan around, Hayes, you'll see where we are. Let me come through here. So we're working on that bow roller fitting at the moment. Uh, the actual uh, bow sprit piece is next door. It's been varnished, uh, getting that ready to go on. So we've got these combings or these bulwarks, if we, as we call them. They will be cut down some, but they're in place and waiting to be worked on. Good, bow end. As you can tell, still needs a second fill, or perhaps you can't tell, but that still needs a second fill around there and then it needs to be glassed. Today I'm just working on these scuppers. This one is still in progress, the other side's finished, but uh, nice big scuppers for the fore deck there coming through. I experimented with different ideas for those scuppers and in the end I just decided to cut a hole and glass it. Should be good. So, on we come. I did get a bit of glass tape around the, the upper deck to sides joint there. But this is all waiting still to be glassed. Ports are in. As you know, ports are in. Back to the aft bulwarks here. And you'll see, still need to be worked upon. Do you okay there? Yeah. Squeezing through. That's where we are. And obviously then this joint's got to be filled. After that, there will be a, a rubbing stroke comes around, covers that joint. I'll put a little bit of glass tape over it and then that rubbing stroke. Um, still to come around there. Good. So we're on the aft deck. Um, end of the, the bulwark still to be put in place, as I showed you from the outside. I normally have two boards covering these, just laid there just to stop anything falling in, or me falling in. But here's the lazarette, as it stands, painted out with one coat, or not even completely with one coat, it needs a second coat, but that's coming on. A um, bit of tidying up still to do in there. I'm anticipating putting a false floor in there, so it's not quite that deep. Um, but yeah, still a way to go there. Cockpit, we haven't got the floor in the cockpit yet. Um, I'm waiting to get the engine in so I know how deep the pit can be. But it's a nice small cockpit, so that should be good. The aft deck isn't glassed yet, it's just, just epoxied on ply, so it's all got to be glassed. Just the insides of the bulwarks are glassed. Um, over this side will be a combing coming through here with storage in it and forming the back so that when you're sat in the cockpit, you're leant against that combing. Until I like that. The other side where those tatty old boards are, these tatty boards here, just shift some of that out of the way. It's full of sawdust. And just get rid of that. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is going to be a, a quarter berth. So combing's coming there, to match that side, they'll be symmetrical, but with a quarter berth in there. And you can see the EE bay, the electrical bay in there. Battery charger, selector switch, battery box in there in position, hooked up, working. Good, put that board back there. How was it? I don't know how it was now. No, it doesn't matter. As long as we don't tread on it. Okay. If you gaze up there, Hazel, you will see the main deck, main raised deck. You got that? Come forwards and look through there. Good. Scan over there, Hazel. I'll get out of the way. All right, main raised deck. Waiting to be glassed. We'll be glassing it soon, I think. I'm preparing for that mentally. I think in the next week or two we'll be glassing this. That'll be good. Um, there's still quite a bit to do on this. There are, there are two runners that go the whole length of the raised deck. They're structural. They form the runners for the, for the main hatch, but um, they're still to come on. Lot to do. 
Yeah, so here we are inside. I hope the light's okay. I mean, I still haven't got decent lights in there. Pots are in place. This will be the galley. This will be the head area over here. Still waiting to be. Behind you, Hazel's the, the engine there, sat there waiting to go into the engine room, which is underneath the stairs there. Engine bed sat there. And we come forwards. And uh, this looks a bit more in place. That side, the nav table switch panel is looking okay. We've got speakers installed, works. That's nice. So tees are in place. Um, we're good, I think. Just about done. A lot of tidying up to do now. I've started sanding. I sanded that beam and a few other little bits, but all of this has got to be sanded up. It will be varnished. A lot of sanding to do. It's going to be messy. Throw into the forepeak. Yeah, inside there will be shelves coming in either side there. Um, I think I hope to do those fairly soon because I want to build this hatch structure here. Um, and it would be wise to get those shelves in before I put that hatch structure in place. Um, so, hoping to do it soon. Come on through, Hazel. Onto the foredeck. And here we are. Completed our circuit, really. Bow roller structure coming on there, pencil marked out. We'll be trimming these down a little bit so that they flow in there nicely. And today I've been working on those scuppers. You can see that scupper that side. It looks, that one's actually finished as far as being ready to glass. So uh, the other side isn't. Still needs a bit of tidying up. And that's where we are. Long way to go still, but uh, we're chipping away, working at it and uh, get there as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. We see.